As scholars, we tend to study the cruel and destructive things that human beings do. But I think it's just as important to understand the ways that we cope with disaster. And making art is one of the greatest things that we do. Art sustains us, it helps explain the world around us, and it helps us deal with our feelings about what's going on outside of us and inside of us. My book is about the great Soviet filmmaker, Sergei Eisenstein, making his masterpiece, Ivan the Terrible, commissioned by Stalin and during World War II. Ivan is far from an obscure movie, but it's never been given the kind of polyphonic treatment that I give it here. And that allows me to show the connections between aesthetics and politics, history and psychology, anthropology, and the making of art. Um, and the book is really about the way two things come together. Eisenstein's ideas about reaching uh, audiences in new ways and making them see the world in new ways. And that's, and, and, uh, that's intertwined with Eisenstein's really rather profound ideas about the big questions of Russian history, the cycles of violence, revolution, ideology, sexuality, trauma, fathers and sons, um, and what makes rulers and really all of us respond to events the way that we do.